Installing large language models is tough. And believe me, it does take a lot of time to deploy it locally. Now don't worry, I have a solution for this and that is deploying any model you want with text generation web UI or also known as Ooga Booga. Weird name, right? You're able to actually deploy any large language model as well as many other models that are out there. Now I'm going to show you how to actually install it, use it as i figured it would be best to show you like a thorough demonstration of installing it as we're going to use it many times in the future with this channel now this method of installing is really fast with a one-click installer and it's super easy to do so and a lot, a lot of people know about this method so it's a really great way for you to actually install it so with that thought let's get right into the video So what you want to do first is go on to the website that is called Pinocchio. Now I'll leave this link in the description below. And this is a website that offers a seamless interaction for installing, running, and managing databases on your computer with a single click. It serves as a browser-like interface and it's basically an application that empowers you to effortlessly install and execute various applications. Now you've probably seen me use this many times in my videos, I've showcased how you can actually install the latest releases of different types of applications such as audio web ui you have different projects such as audio gradio as well as stable diffusion now this is such an easy way for you to install with this one click installer so once you're on the pinocchio website what you want to do first is click on download once you click download you have a couple options that are listed here for what you want pinocchio to be installed on if you have a windows computer you can install it for windows if you have a mac you can do it for mac as well as for linux in my case i have a windows so i'm going to click on the windows tab click on this link right here which will start installing it and this is just a zip file that will be installed so once it's done i'll be right back now once this is done you can basically minimize this and you can then drag it onto your desktop now it says to unzip it so you'll need this application that was called WinRAR. So if you guys do not have this, you can easily download it to extract files like this. So you can basically extract it onto your desktop and it will basically extract the setup file. Now you just need to simply click on this. Now it says if you have this pop-up of Windows protected your PC, uh, you can just easily click on more information and run anyway. It's, it's just a message that pops up for many applications that it finds to be suspicious but it's definitely not so do not worry about it but once you click on the setup you can just click on setup with the like a file that you wanted to install towards so in this case i have it installed to the users my computer name as well as pinocchio so i can just click on setup and it will take a couple of minutes to start setting up and fetching the files for the application so it'll take a couple of minutes to set up the pinocchio website or the application sorry and once this is done i'll be right back if you guys haven't already, definitely check out the Twitter page. We're going to be posting the latest AI news so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. Now, if you want to be a part of our exclusive Discord, definitely check out the Patreon page so you can get the exclusive partnerships, giveaways, as well as interacting with a lot of different community members. Lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and like this video. And if you guys haven't seen our previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends. Once it has finished installing, you'll get this pop-up sound. So you can just click on launch. And once you have launched it, you can see the Pinocchio interface. Now you can just open it up, visit the discover page. And if you scroll down, you can see text generation web UI. Now you simply just need to click on install and it's easy as that. Click on download and save it as this and it'll start downloading the whole process. Now you can see that it gets rid of the process where you need to install pip install. It gets rid of the commands where you need to do git clone or as well as many other different things that are out there to install certain types of applications from github in this case it does everything for you now once it has finished doing all of the requirements by installing everything that is needed for a text generation web ui i'll be right back now as you're installing you'll get this uh gpu type notification that pops up so you just need to specify what gpu you have in this case you can specify that if you have an nvidia one you can just type in a over here if you have amd you can press b c for apple and d for none so in this case if you don't have any of these then you can just use your own cpu 
to do so so in this case i don't have any of the following so i'll just press d and click done now it will start going back to installing with the option that i gave it and just like that we are done so it will then pop up with the install success tab and you can just click on done and now you can basically just start it up you can just click on start chat mode up and it will start the process of opening text generation web ui on your local host now guys i know a lot of people in my last video had this error where it would just keep on like loading but it wouldn't load up so what you need to do if that happens is you just need to simply end the process by closing the application and starting it back up again and it will then prompt up right away into your web ui which you can see it is doing right now so you can just click on open web ui and it will do so on your local host and just like that you have installed web ui super easily and this is without doing any of the git cloning or downloading the zip file which you can actually do with git uh with the text generation web ui but in this case now you can just simply go on to models uh you can see over here you have different uh models that you can load in most cases you're just going to be using transformers uh, if you go down you can use llama.cpp as well as the other models that are out there now if you want to download a certain type of model or laura you can just go on to hugging face now there's a huge list of many models that are out there like for example you have meta llama 7 billion chat model in which you can just go onto it click on the uh, model card copy this model card and then go back onto text generation web ui and paste it over here and just click download now once it downloads it'll take about like depending on how large the model is it'll take a couple minutes and depending on what computer you have it could take a little bit longer and once you have finished installing it you can simply just go on to the model that which will be downloaded over here and you can load it now after you download it you just need to click on this button and it'll show up on the drop down menu in which you can just load and then start chatting right away from it now here's a tip there is a user that is called the bloke on hugging face and he usually uploads many of the new release models on his model card list and he does a great job in demonstrating how you can basically implement the models he uploads within text generation web ui now he usually has a description of how to use the model and easily download the model within text generation web ui for example over here he demonstrates what to do and to install this 70 billion chat model into text generation web ui he shows to click on the model tab which in this case you would go onto the model tab go to download the custom model or laura and send, enter this into this tab over here and he says to download the specific branch enter for example the bloke llama 270 billion chat model and this specification for it and he usually goes on to demonstrate what you need to do in terms of selecting certain things such as if it should use the cpu or if it should use your disk as well as other devices that are connected with your main primary uh, cpu now he also demonstrates what you need to do to tweak the alpha value as well as the compress post value and this is just a way for you to get a better understanding because you don't really know what these things are so he basically demonstrates what you need to do and how you need to do it to install the models that you want now another thing that you want to know is whenever you click on the default tab you can select different prompts that you would like to use in certain cases you can upload your own but if you want to input your own you can simply just generate it with the input that you want now this is something that he also specifies if you scroll up he gives you the prompt templates that you want to use with llama 2 chat model so in this case you can just copy this and paste it within the input and have it generated through the whole text generation web ui app now guys due to how lengthy this video would be if i were to cover everything i simply cannot do everything so if you want to get a more comprehensive understanding of what all these metrics are i highly recommend that you check out the text generation web ui uh, github repository as they go more in detail with their actual documentation which goes to showcase what you need to do whenever you install certain things in most cases this stays as the default settings but in certain cases you might have people like on like what bloke does who shows what you need to do in other cases to change the parameters for certain models to get the best generation and if you want a certain type of response for example if you want more tokens to be spent to get a large 
larger contextual response then you can obviously tweak the max token size and you know the basics where you can tweak the temperature and this is just the default things that you can do with large language models but one cool thing that i want to highlight is the chat history and this is where you're able to upload past chat history so that you can basically have the model learn from whatever you had inputted previously so it can use the outputted answers or questions that you ask it for future generation and this way it helps the text generation model become more smarter with whatever you're trying to generate and that basically concludes today's video guys i hope you were able to get some sort of idea as to how to install it and i hope this was something that is very easy for you to install and thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it make sure you check out twitter page if you guys haven't already and subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed to world of ai but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas